Welcome. In a previous video, I did an install of Windows Subsystem for Linux, and I'll put a link in the description for, with that video. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at adding a Windows X server to the system. So the Windows Subsystem for Linux is really only command-based. It doesn't have like a graphical system. So what you need to do is install what's called an X server. So I'm going to be installing VCX SRV, and I'll put a link in the description of that, or you can just Google VCX SRV. So I'll click on that. I'll click download. And it's currently downloading. I'm going to cancel that because I have already downloaded it. So I'll go into my downloads folder. And here we have the installer. I'll double click on it. I'll click yes. I'll choose everything here but the desktop shortcut. I'll click next. I'll go with the default options here. I'll click next. Install. Okay, the install is complete now. I'll click close. I'll close this window. So now I'll double click on this X launch. It's asking how we want to display our window. So I'll leave it at multiple windows and I'll leave the display number to minus one, which automatically chooses a display number. I'll click next. It says select how to start clients. I'll use the default of start no clients. I'll click next. And it talks about clipboard settings, uh, native OpenGL, and disable access control. I'll leave that all the same. I'll click next. It says configuration is complete. Click finish to start. It says you may also save the configuration for later, later use. I'll click finish. So Windows Defender came up. I'll choose private networks and disable public networks. I'll click allow access. Now if we look in the tray down here, you'll see it says uh, the desktop this is like my desktop ID and then it says colon 0.0, .0. so that's our display. So I'll go down into my search and it'll open up a shell and now I'll type display equals localhost colon 0.0, .0. I'll hit enter. So I can open up an application now but I need to install some first so I'll type sudo space app space install space x11-apps. I'll hit enter. It'll ask for my password. Say yes, I want to install. Okay, I'll clear my screen. So now if I type x and then tab, that'll tab complete here and we can see some different uh, software that's been installed. There's X clock, so let me run that. You see it popped up down here below, and here, here we have the X clock. We can enlarge that, move it around. We can run X eyes, and these follow your mouse around. Those are fun. Let's see, I'll clear the screen. I'll look at some others. We have X calc. Here's a calculator. And these are just examples. You probably wouldn't use the calculator within this one. You can just use the Windows calculator. There's X edit. So we have like a little editor here. Let's see, we have ICO. So that draws shapes. Let's see if we can look at any help on there. We do ICO faces. There we have it with faces. Here's another clock, O clock. X logo. Now that we have the graphics system set up, you could install pretty much any graphics software. You could even install like Firefox or something, but you probably wouldn't want to when you can just run it on Windows. If there was some Linux specific software you wanted to run that had a graphical interface, you can run it on here and it'll send the uh, commands through to the X server. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.